Hello everyone! In this video I'm gonna show you my first creation for Sandbox. That is the GM construct from GMod9 recreated in Hammer 2 for Source 2. But before we go to the main topic I just want to tell you that throughout this video some numbers might appear on the screen. Make sure to write them down and at the end of the video, after you've subscribed to my channel, go to the Asset Party, log in with your Steam account and redeem the code to get Sandbox to experiment on your own with new tools, new map editor and much more. So around two weeks ago I've applied on the mega thread on facepunch forums and I've got the access to Sandbox. Right away I went and checked out the Hammer 2 and it blew me away. Two or three days ago I started experimenting more with the Hammer trying to make some kind of basic beginner map and I decided it's the best idea to recreate the Gmod 9 construct because first it's iconic, second it's quite simple, so I could learn the program and build the map at the same time. Of course at the moment it is not yet finished and I will make sure to update you on that, however the majority of map is done. We have the dark room, we have the garage building and even a lake. I was really surprised with how Source 2 looks. At first I just did a fast compile of the map to just check things around and I was a bit disappointed because it looked like some kind of cheap Unity recreation made by 13 years old with ready assets. However then I did a full compile and yes it took around 20 minutes to finish but once it finished and I've opened up the game the map looked great. Even though I've put so little work into this map it already looked great and most importantly it really felt alive like it is a real location due to beautiful lightning and effects. This motivates me to learn more about Hammer 2 and to try to make this map as beautiful as possible because what you see here is I guess not even 10% of Source 2 graphical possibilities. Knowing that it is not even 10% I have a strong urge to try to maximize the looks of this map because I believe I can make it look very beautiful. At the moment the main problem is porting assets from Half-Life 2 to Source 2. With textures it's quite simple, but today I think I'm gonna tackle the problem of porting the models, because what is GM Construct without the iconic skybox consisting of small houses and big apartment blocks. So that's what I'm going to do today, but at the moment as you can see the map is quite empty, however still it is starting to look like GM Construct. So that's that if it comes to my new creation, but now I will tell you a bit more about Hammer 2 and my first impression with this software. So I started using Hammer Editor when I was about 12 and I've completely ignored the fact that Hammer Editor from the objective point of view really sucks. Throughout its whole life the Hammer was stuck in 90s. It does not differ very much from the Half-Life 1 map editor. But still, it gave me so many possibilities, I just used it and I've loved it. However, sooner or later, one will start to notice the annoyances related to Hammer Editor. The first annoyance is more related to the whole source uh, workflow. That is, it is not really flexible. I mean, if you want to create a new model, you need to use a third-party software to model it, then you need to use some kind of unofficial tool to export it, for example in case of Blender it is Blender Source Tools, then you need to compile it using the Studio MDL and then you can use it. So as you can see it is quite lengthy process to get a model from your modeling program to the source game, for example into your map. Another problem is that maps need to be constructed out of brushes. If you don't know what brush is, it is just a regular cuboid or any kind of convex shape. This is really important, the shape must be convex because any concavity will break the map or at least it will break the solid and create some unexpected results. In Hammer 2 this is no longer the case because the whole maps are mesh based. So instead of creating cubes, uh, cuboids and uh, making a map out of it, you can just use them as meshes. So it is really similar to something like Blender or Maya or a modern CAD software, which is really great and it gives you so much more possibilities. It also makes detailing easy, so it is quite easy to make a beautiful map 
without using uh, third-party assets or some kind of specialistic models, because the line between the mapping software and modeling software is really blurry if it comes to Hammer 2, and I think it's for the best. In the background you can see a time-lapse of me creating this GM construct map in the editor, and yeah, I need to be honest, these are my baby steps. I was learning a lot of things during that process. So there was around 5 minutes of mapping and 15 minutes of watching some kind of tutorials or asking people on Discord. This is why the whole process is quite sluggish. But hey, everyone needs to make those baby steps to learn. I remember in Hammer 1 it was a nightmare to start to make good maps. At first my maps looked like crap, they were unoptimized, the full compilation, even though they looked like shit and were very small, they were compiling for a few minutes because I did not know about anything like funk detail or any other optimization techniques. And probably the same thing is now with Hammer 2. I don't know anything. I just created my first map. I'm quite happy because of it, but I'm overwhelmed thinking about how many more stuff I need to learn to be a good Source 2 mapper. But even considering this, I am motivated to learn it because the new Source 2 mapping tool looks great and I encourage you all to check it out. And to check it out, make sure to piece together that code, go to the website, subscribe to my channel and redeem the code to get access to Sandbox. And if it comes to this video, it was a bit short because I just wanted to show you uh, my map I just wanted to tell you my first impression with Hammer 2, uh, they were mostly positive. I am pretty surprised what Valve has achieved with this kind of modern new generation engine. It is really impressive and I can't wait to explore it more in depth. At the moment there are not much resources to learn online. Uh, I will link some videos in the description which helped me a lot. And this is all I had for today, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to redeem the code Make sure to test the new hammer out and let me see you in the next video. Bye!